Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I'm going to be doing my booktubeathon wrap up. If you hear any background noise, my fan is on and my cousin is currently in the living room watching Glee. My last video that will be up before this one in this same outfit uh, features him and we did a library book haul. That was his first ever time filming anything and I really appreciate it if you guys would leave some really nice comments on there for him. Um, and thank you for the people on Twitter for your kind excitement that he was going to be in a video. He absolutely loved that. But for this video, I decided to do it solo and he's watching Glee and I think there's thunder going on outside so that's always great. So weird seeing me back in my normal height because in the last video with Noah he's like 6'2 and I'm 5 foot nothing. I had to have the camera like so high up just to be able to, to get him half in frame and he was like ducking down like this. I figured I would film this now. It's been two days since Booktubeathon and I can't say that I miss reading too much. I've been reading a little bit but not as so fast paced as normal uh but that being said i've already read five and a bit five and like three quarters of a book just before the book tubeathon had started i had finished landline by rainbow rowell and i absolutely loved it but i made sure that i finished it before i started book tubeathon and i just checked like right now seriously before i started filming this clip uh and i finished Four of the challenges. So the first book that I read in Booktubeathon was Say You Will by Eric Walters. This is like a promposal book and it was 192 pages of um, planning a promposal basically and then the ending was really cute and I didn't like it as much as I thought I would but I did enjoy the ending so I gave it like three to 3.5 stars and this completed the challenge to read a book with blue on the cover because as you can see this is like a very grayish blue book with a blue bicycle on it and uh just the I loved the ending of this book but I wasn't too fond of like the beginning in the middle very much it was very drawn out but the ending made up for it the next three books I read on my Kindle so I'm going to step over here and put the covers right here. So the next book that I finished after Say You Will is Burn by Ali Juliet Musso. <sighs> you guys, I can't wait to film a review for this. That will be filmed with like in the next week. Um, and maybe, maybe I will film that review and combine it with the next book that I read and review that one because it's a novella related to that series. Spoiler alert, I gave this book five stars. This one is about Liam, who is another brother of Ink and Steel, and uh, I, I can't even, words do not describe my feels for this. I, 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 I can't. There's no words to describe how I felt. But this book counted for the book that I really wanted to read. Originally, it was going to be the last letter of the name of the author that matches the last letter of your name, which is M, but that is the next book instead. Because I read two books by Miss Ellie Juliette Mousseau, and they were both amazing. This book was 263 pages, which it felt so much shorter. My god. What? I want more! Which Brother of Ink and Steel are you gonna, gonna hear about next? Because I need to know. After that, I wanted to stay within the world, and then I realized that there was a novella about the first book's characters. And it's like 2.5 in the series. And that is Dare You Forever by Ali Juliette Mousseau. And that is what I read. And this book counted towards the book with the, the last letter of... Or no, the first letter of your last name matches with your last name and the author's last name. I always had issues describing that, but I can't exactly tell you what this one is about, but it relates to the first book in this series. So if you haven't watched my review for that, or if you haven't read it, you need to get up on that. This is like the Beautiful Disaster series by Jamie McGuire, but like, maybe it's better. I think it's better. I, I can't. And the novella was 103 pages long and I wanted more. I uh, It was cute. It was just really cute. That's all I can say about it. After that, I went into the next book that I bought 
and I wasn't as pleased with it, with it as I wanted to be, but it is Never Never Part 2 by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. I forgot to mention, but I gave the last book five stars as well, if you didn't already guess that. But I didn't like this one as much as I liked the first part. I don't even really remember what I liked too much about the first part. I know that both the first part and the second part were very confusing. Half the time you don't know what you're reading because you don't know anything, the characters don't know anything, and you're kind of learning as you go, and then you don't really learn anything until like three quarters of the way through the book. It felt like I was 75% of the way through it when I looked at my Kindle and it was like, oh, now I'm realizing stuff and things are making sense again. I think I gave this like three stars and I probably will be picking up the, the next part in the series just to see how it ends, but I wasn't as pleased with this one. But that one was 125 pages. I know, I read a lot of smaller books, but I did get a lot of books read, so I'm proud of myself. And the last full book that I did manage to complete during Booktubeathon is Beautiful Oblivion by Jamie McGuire. This is the companion series start to Beautiful Disaster by her, uh, and Walking Disaster, which is the companion novel to Beautiful Disaster. That's confusing. This is 320 pages long, and it is about Travis's brother Trenton and his attempt at love with a girl named Cammie. I am in love with every single Maddox brother I've read about and I am so mad because I have not gotten Beautiful De Redemption yet. Like I promised myself I would. I want it. I need more. I need more Maddox brothers in my life and I am also patiently, not so patiently, waiting for the novella to come out about Shepley in America uh, on Kindle because I'm going to be getting that and reading that this month because it comes out on the 18th. I gave this five stars. <sighs> I just, I don't know. I don't know what I like better. Part of me wants to say I like this one better, but like a lot more happened in Beautiful Disaster. But like this was also like really good and the the ending of this, oh my god. You have to watch my vlog. I will link the vlog, uh, part two of Booktubeathon, on my face. So that was the last book I completely finished, but I did still have time left to read a another part of a book. So I started, but did not manage to complete this beautiful thing called Ice Like Fire and this is an advanced reader copy that HarperCollins sent me. My brain still does not. I will link the unboxing for this over the book. My heart. I am, I, okay, I am 274 pages through it now. Now. But I did manage to complete 159 pages of this and I was reading this up until the very end of Booktubeathon. And this is a 400 page book, so I got almost halfway through it before Booktubeathon was over. And I read this up until midnight of August 10th. So, you know, I read until like I could not read anymore. 10 out of 10 already. This will be a 5 star book. I'm, I'm not even going to, like, I don't think I need to explain because it's just, it's glorious. And it's the it's the sequel. And right now my sh <laughs> my snow like ashes is not missing, but it is on loan out to my neighbor who is currently reading it or starting it soon. And I almost feel like a part of me is missing, so I need it back soon. And then and then when I'm done this, she's gonna be reading this. She's she's lucky that I have a copy of this early because she gets to read it too. So that is all of the books that I read during Booktubeathon. I am very proud of myself. Normally I only read like six books in a month, let alone reading six books in a week. Well, technically six and a half because I read Lay in Line like the day, finished Lay in Line the day before um, Booktubeathon started. Okay, we're gonna use Siri and count up how many pages I read in total because I tried doing the math on this sticky note and it, it wasn't happening. So here we go. 192 plus 263 plus 103 plus 125 plus 320 plus 159. It's 1,162. Wow. <laughs>
So apparently, says Siri, in total I have read 1,162 pages. So I'm proud of myself. Give me a round of applause, everybody. This was fun. I didn't do any of the video challenges this year, but I think I'm going to attempt to do them next year because they look really fun. I just didn't, didn't do them. And I should have, but I didn't, but I vlogged it. So the two vlogs will be linked here on the screen, in the card section, and down below so that you have three different options to find it. And that was awkward. So that is it for this video, you guys. I don't know what my next video is going to be or when it is going to be up, but I will definitely be filming something soon. I promise. <laughs> and whatever it is, I will see you guys in that video. Bye! Thank you for watching my video. Hope that you really enjoyed the show. Hit the subscribe button down below and go and read some books.